So guys, I'm, I'm gonna give a fast opinion why BSG is doing this. I didn't watch the full thing. Nikita mentioned like last year, talking about do the full release on this year, 2024. The next year, uh, we plan to do several things. At least two of it is pretty big. And uh, the second thing is that we are gonna close the game cycle. This part of the game, the, the storyline quest and everything will be released with the actual official release of the game. And also, I think the game is trying to become more normy FPS gamer. You guys know Tarkov is like the end of the FPS player line. You play like freaking Call of Duty, Overwatch, or Valorant, and then you're like, oh, I need more, and then you become Tarkov player. So something like that was the target for Tarkov. But slowly, Tarkov is trying to reach out for the majority of the FPS players. You guys know Dark Souls became Elden Ring. Monster Hunter became Monster Hunter World. All became really famous and they earned a lot of money from doing that. So Tarkov was a hardcore game and then they're trying to reach out to the majority gamers, it seems. It's just my opinion spitting out. And because of that, I think they reduced the recoil and then they're reducing like the hardcore perspectives as much as possible. And this is, I think, one of the perspectives they're trying to do. Making a freaking tutorial. This was one of the reason why it was hardcore not having a tutorial. And there was a bunch of YouTubers being like, oh, how to level up in this game? How to play Tarkov? You know, it was, I'm one of those guys. But anyways, that's what I think. And they dropped this. Let's watch it. It's, a, it's basically a, like a tutorial for Tarkov. Welcome to the Field Guide, a series of tutorial videos for Escape from Tarkov by Battlestate Games. In this series, we'll introduce newcomers to the mechanics and nuances of the game and divvy out the knowledge of experienced players. In Escape from Tarkov, you play as an operator of a PMC, or private military company. You're stuck in the battle-ravaged city of Tarkov. The territory is cordoned off, all exits are blocked and guarded, your headquarters has gone radio silent and your previous tasks and orders no longer have any meeting at all. This voice now actor here has their own goals. It's one of you to escape the blockade or to stay in the city and establish their own order. In this video, we'll cover so the basics, dramatic. character equipment, looting, healing, and navigating through the locations. In addition, we'll cover raids and the game's objectives. We'll have a separate detailed video about each of these mechanics, so stay tuned. In the game, you enter raids, which are small game sessions of about 20 to 30 minutes. It is in these raids that you can loot items needed for crafting, trading, character upgrades, or completing trader tasks, which will help you learn more about what really happened in Tarkov. See, like, like that part also made me think that they are trying hard to get a full release of the game. Trying to figure out what happened in Tarkov. That means that we'll finally make the end game scenario when we'll actually oh. start the game and complete the game. So we'll actually have an option to escape from Tarkov. Sounds like they made a whole storyline and then finally they're gonna drop it. They're preparing for that. Like I can kind of see it. But a raid in Tarkov is not a cakewalk. Here you gotta pay close attention to your health, the environment, sounds, or otherwise you're cooked. There's a lot of ways to die in Tarkov. Bullet wounds, blood loss, poisoning, exhaustion, and even dehydration. Just hesitating can kill you, and if you don't manage to leave the location before the raid timer expires, you'll go MIA. With any death, <laughs> you'll lose everything you were carrying, as well as what you found in the raid. Yeah, he's the one on the Yusek voice liners. Be careful and keep your eyes open. We're going to explore all aspects of the game by using easy to understand examples. Here we are, spawned in the raid. The first thing to do is to check the available exits. By pressing the O key once, the current time remaining until the end of the raid will appear in the upper right corner. And when you double tap O, the list of available exits will be displayed. The list of exits will vary, however, depending on the spawn point of your PMC. Time guys, 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 I see some negative comments, but I get it. I totally understand what you guys are saying, but at the same time, anti-cheat developers on their side needs to work on their side, but the advertisers needs to work on their sides. Different sections, guys. You, you cannot put everybody on the anti-cheat and not do anything else, you know? It's something like that, but I get it. To check your gear. 
By pressing the tab key, you can access your inventory while in raid. Oh, wow. <laughs> in it, you can switch tabs to see your gear, health status, location maps if available, quests from traders, and more. On the left, you can see the character slots. They're going to contain your gear and your weapons. Your equipment, the most important of which is armor, protects vital parts of your body from bullets and shrapnel. Weapons. You can carry two main weapons on your sling and on your back. A pistol and a holster and a melee weapon. Use the one, two, or three keys to switch between weapons. Tactical rig. It usually contains your primary ammunition, grenades, and medical supplies. Your chest rig gives you quick access to your combat gear. For example, during a normal reload with the R key, you will take out a loaded magazine from the rig and put the empty ones in it afterwards. If there's no magazines in it, you will not be able to reload even if you have a full backpack of ammunition. Most items in the rig can be assigned to a quick access panel. Pockets are similar to tactical rigs, albeit much smaller in capacity. They're perfect for bandages, painkillers, or grenades. Okay. All items picked up in the raid Not are bad. going to be immediately put in your backpack. The bigger it is, the more you can carry. We've already mentioned that you can lose everything you find in a raid when oh, you die. Oh, he does talk about it. The pouch, on the other hand, allows you to keep the items you have stored in it. Nice. It's a unique, secure container. At the very beginning, you start with Alpha or Gamma, depending on the edition of the game you've purchased. Secure containers are extremely... Do you have to mention the Gamma, though? Wait, 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 wait. Because this tutorial is for the guys who just bought the game, right? But they will not have Gamma anymore because EOD edition is gone. But why are they talking about Gamma? I'm kind of thinking of they are going to sell Gamma pouch. Am I reaching too hard, guys? They always say something and then they change their mind. With Alpha or Gamma. Like, for example, they said their MTX is not going to exist, but it, it exists, you know? Depending on the edition of the game you've purchased, secure containers are extremely rare and more spacious versions are given out for special achievements in the game. Yeah, like Hoppa. Your best friend in a raid is your weapon, and it's worth learning the basics of weapon handling. Okay. Pressing the B key toggles the fire mode. There are free fire modes in total, and we tell you more about them in future videos. Okay. The combination of Alt plus B allows you to check the current fire mode on the weapon without making good, good. sound. Full the combination always, always. Of Alt T allows you to check the number of rounds in a magazine. Good, 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 good. They're an teaching good. From Tarkov, general endurance is divided into two types: leg endurance and arm endurance. Okay. The former is consumed by running, jumping, and frequent crouching. Arm endurance is consumed when aiming or ADSing. Or Your bolting. character can lean sideways by pressing the Q and E keys. Okay. Make a short left or right sidestep by pressing Alt plus Q. I still and e. don't use that. You can I adjust don't know. your lean For angle me. by pressing Alt plus this A and D. This still I use. By using the C key and the mouse wheel, you can adjust the position of your character's stance or crouch height. In raids, you'll meet not only other PMCs but also various factions that pose a danger. Some residents of Tarkov decided Ooh. to take up arms. Both That's me. And representatives of local gangs, even police officers, did not stay on the sidelines. Many people are tracked in Tarkov Hold simply not having a chance to get out, but some also decided to stay voluntarily. Both are forced to survive by any means necessary. They're called the Scavs. The strength of the Scavs is not in their first class equipment or their high level of weapon skills. Their strength is in numbers. The Scavs <laughs> move in groups, looting and ravaging okay. everything in their path, and they can be a problem for any lone PMC in a raid. Looting is an integral part of Escape from Tarkov. Wait, I saw a comment about this. This recoil does look like 0.13, right? Do you guys just see that? Looting and 0 0.13.5. And they can be a problem for any lone PM. So this is pre-recorded and then like made the video like more, you know, previously and then they uploaded it now. I mean, it's not a big deal, I guess. But at the same time, like they're making a tutorial for the, you know, Timmy's and then they're going to think, oh my God, this gun is horrible. See, in a raid, looting is an integral part of Escape from Tarkov. In raid, you can pick up items from the floor, tables, shelves, inspect medicine boxes and bags and check the corpses of other players or scavs for valuable items. Simply approach them until the corresponding option appears and press F. The loot you pick up will be stored in a free slot in your in-raid inventory. Mm. This scav has a gear rig and a backpack on him, which you must first search for valuables. Click on the outlined area to start looting. All items differ in value. 
What to keep and what to throw away is up to you. But remember, whoa, there's nothing that's <laughs> bro. Yeah, right. Useless in Tarkov. Uh. In the scavs backpack, we find. Wait, wait, what, what did he say? Nothing is useless in Tarkov. That's useless in Tarkov. In the scavs backpack, we find several items. A graphics card is very valuable loot. It is required both in many quests and when upgrading your hideout. In addition, you'll get a lot of money for it at the flea market or at the traders. You're very lucky if you find a graphics card on the corpse of a player. Did they just add control click to be in the tutorial? No way, bro. This is not good. You know why I'm saying this? Because the <laughs> new player cheater streamers are going to use control click from now on so easily because they saw it in a freaking official tutorial. <laughs> I don't know, I might be reaching too hard again. And why are these scabs items not in raid? Traders, you're very lucky if you find a graphics card on the corpse of a player or on a dead scav. So don't lose it. Canned food might seem like unnecessary crap in the middle of a war, but yeah, in I get reality, it, it can save but... your life. In the raid, your energy and hydration levels are constantly decreasing. When these values drop to zero, you're going to consistently lose mm -hmm. health from exhaustion, and your stamina and its You're recovery right, okay. rate will drop significantly. You can eat this canned food and restore your energy and hydration levels on the spot. A lighter might seem useless, especially if you don't smoke, but it's required for some barters no, okay. and quests, no. as well as for upgrading your hideout, so grab it. Now that we have found and taken several valuable items, it's time to extract from the location. To do this, we gotta find an exit point. Now we have a list of available exits. At okay. first glance, the names don't tell you jack. But this isn't entirely true. For example, we need an exit called Gate 3. Well, the number 3 is written on the gate right in front of us, so most likely the exit is right behind it. You'll be able to navigate better and find the necessary exits faster if you carefully examine your surroundings and familiarize yourself. This is, is this the part where the comment section was like, bro, showing the extract camping method in the tutorial. <laughs> ...with the area. Now it's time to talk about medicine and the health system and escape from Tarkov. At this very exit, we encountered an ambush, this time from a PMC. They camp in gate 3 even in the tutorial of Mel. <laughs> so I think BSG kind of accepted the part that extract camping is the part of the game. Now we cannot like deny it anymore. Red and extract camping is just part of the game. I was thinking like that. The game is built like that and like I know it's angry if you get if you get hurt by it. I get angry too, but it's just part of the game. I think it's like totally fine overall. Like if you guys if you guys like don't like it, why not be the guy on other end point, you know? You become the extract camper. You become the Rats, just be like that, bro. It's on the freaking official tutorial now. Stop whining about it, please. Short firefight ended successfully for us, but now we're wounded. This cannot be ignored. Bro, you're already wrong on this one because <laughs> there was a bad extract camping. That guy should have been behind that door. And then this guy, the guy who's holding the gun, should be freaking clapped. You can fully inspect the state of your PMC in the health tab. The total health of the character is 440 HP, which is divided into- Guys, just in case, I'm not getting angry at the voice actor, okay? It's just <laughs> the situation. Seven body parts. Each of them can lose health individually. When a body part reaches zero HP, it's considered to be destroyed or blacked out, as most players call it. Now, it can't be healed with normal types of medicines, such as first aid kits, so to restore it, you gotta find a specialized surgical kit. Back to our raid. After the battle, we suffered a light bleeding in our left arm. We can stop it with a bandage, but if bleeding and more severe injuries are ignored, your character will lose health in the raid, and this can lead to death. To treat light bleeding, find the bandage in your inventory. Press the right mouse button and click Use. To restore health points, select an available first aid kit and repeat the steps. First aid kits restore the missing health points in the wounded part of the body. Okay, they're not using the toggle, uh, the key bindings because it's. Uh, I guess the key bindings are like too advanced. I understand. Some exits are always available, and some are only under certain circumstances. The latter are marked with question marks. You can check if certain exits are available from afar by looking at things like active lights, spotlights, or even green smoke. Some exits may even require cash to pay. For those, you gotta have a certain amount of money with you. 
Other exits may require special items, such as a paracord or even a special key. While you're in mm. a spot that's going to extract you, a timer appears in the upper right corner and in the center of the screen. You will leave the map when it reaches zero. Exit times can range from a few seconds to even a couple of minutes. We successfully extracted from the raid and returned to the in-game hideout, taking several valuable items with us. So, today we discuss the following game aspects. Main raid objectives, weapon handling basics, basic healing and looting skills, navigation on location, and the extractions. In the next video, we'll cover the more comprehensive aspects of PMC health management and break down the medical equipment available. So stay tuned for more announcements. Thanks for watching. Oh, do you have to? Do you have to like freaking beat up our eardrums with the music though? The voice and the music <laughs> sound is so unbalanced. Anyways, it looks like overall like good tutorial. The flabbergasting part is like showing the ex extra camping as like a you know ambush. I mean, yeah, I guess it, it was a optimized way to show the extracts and the healings and the you know reality of Tarkov at the same time. Also, the gamma pouch. For some reason, they're showing the gamma pouch even though it's gone by now. And then it's this is this tutorial is supposed to be for the Timmys who just bought the game. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool tutorial. I think I can say that they're gonna add Gamma Pouch again, back again in the game, very likely. And they're gonna make more tutorials for every already made tutorials from a bunch of YouTubers, like Key Bindings and... I already said it at the start of the video, but I can already see like they're trying hard to reach out to the more general audience, more majority of audience or the gamers who didn't want to play hardcore games, but you know, can try it out at least. That's what I'm thinking. Without the refund policy. Are they gonna add refund policy after the full release? Because they said they're gonna full release on this year. We'll have to see anyways. Alright guys. I'll do an outro. What do you guys think about the video? It's pretty cool. Do tell me in the comments. And if you guys like these kind of videos. Please leave a like. And also if you wanna check out videos as quick as possible. Put out that notification button on. And also if you wanna check me out on live stream. Check out Bear Basket bio link on the description. Or on the screen. And if you want to check out other videos, check out the video list on the screen. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.